This is gonna be six rounds of buck. This is this is recoiling a lot more than the other guns. Yep. So pulling it tight into the shoulder and rolling your hips even further forward or towards the target is gonna matter even more. to another episode of Off the Clock. I am here once again with Lucas from T-Rex Arms. Today we are diving into home defense. We're gonna shoot some guns, and then we're also gonna go to a house, and we're gonna talk about actual tangible home defense ideas, ways that you can actually make your house stronger, protect yourself, save time. But first, let's go shoot some guns. Now we are at our prop house. Do not worry, we're not gonna be shooting indoors at this location, but I'm here with Ryan and he is going to walk us through what you need to do to fortify your home and what real home defense actually looks like. So Ryan, what is just a little bit of your background? I'm a West Coast police officer. Okay. I've been for about 16 years now. I work on a SWAT team out there, mm -hmm. so I have some knowledge of home design and how to mm -hmm. get in and out of those things. So nice. we'll cover some of that stuff and try to talk about how to kind of amplify your safety at your house. Awesome, mm -hmm. something that everybody needs to know. Let's get into it. All right, starts with the door. Yes. Many people think it starts with some sort of a weapon selection. Mm -hmm. Hey, I need a shotgun, I need a handgun. Uh, there's a time and a place for that, and okay. I think that you will ultimately need a, a weapon in your home to keep yourself safe if someone gets in. But most people neglect to think about making their house structurally sound, mm -hmm. and it starts at the front door. Uh, I tell a lot of people, and myself included, I, I failed to take my own advice and actually was a victim of a burglary when okay. I wasn't home. And I had been giving people all this advice, like, hey, put a metal security screen on the front of your house, uh, yeah. fortify that front door. Um, if you can't do that, you know, I get it, budgets, everybody's mm -hmm. on a budget, they can't afford that stuff. It's funny, they'll, they'll dive into discussions about buying some expensive gun. But they but won't buy like, this. Hey, a thousand dollar <laughs> gate, I can't do that. So, um, if you can't afford uh, an expensive gate for your house, you can simply upgrade the screws in the door itself, in okay. the throws. Just doing that is gonna uh, enhance the uh, security of the door. There's window coatings, you can put mm -hmm. window coatings on so that you still have the windows that you can look out. There's like anti-smash, clear mm -hmm. tents and things you could put on. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are gonna say, I don't wanna put a bunch of bars on my house. Like, yep. I, it's gonna look like a castle or a, you know, it's gonna look like a jail. Yep. So there's other options for that. Okay. You know, 3M makes all sorts of crazy stuff and different companies make things you can put on your glass so they don't break. Fantastic. Uh, which is good, keeps people uh, out of your house. And also ultimately what we'll, we'll, we'll move into is time. It mm -hmm. buys you time. If the committed bad guy wants to get into your house and you've created these barriers, it's buying you time to potentially get to a firearm if you have yep. it, or call for help. Crazy transition, we're now back with Lucas <laughs> to talk about weapons. So if you do have to make some movement, if you do have to handle a bad guy, what are you gonna use? Everybody always wants to get a shotgun, I know. But yeah, every, everybody likes the idea of a shotgun because they've heard it for a very long time that it's the best home defense mm -hmm. gun. There's one thing about a shotgun, there's a couple things about shotguns that are nice. One is they're very affordable. Mm -hmm. You can go out and get a pump 12 gauge shotgun for not a lot of money compared to a lot of other weapons on the market. And so that does make it feasible for people that maybe can't afford something. Maybe they spend all their money fortifying their home mm -hmm. and they don't have a lot of money left over and so they go out and buy a shotgun. I understand that. One reason we should not buy shotguns though is Biden said that we should have them. So that is one reason we should not be buying shotguns. If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun. But the downsides to shotguns is they are much more difficult to manipulate than some of the other weapons we have right here. There's a higher learning curve for being able to use them well. They recoil quite a bit, especially if you're shooting something like a slug. So for someone who's not an experienced shooter, a shotgun is actually the worst choice of a weapon that you can have in the house. You don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Buy a shotgun. What I far prefer is something like this AR-15. This it has a 16 inch barrel, so it's legal in the majority of states. You can pick up AR-15s right now for, they're the cheapest they've been in a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, it's good can, to know. You can have 30 rounds in the gun um, with the flick of the safety after you've charged the weapon. Every time you pull the trigger, you're gonna be sending a round and that just makes it a lot easier to use and it's extremely low recoil. It just makes a lot of sense. So I recommend an Air 15 and I know people are gonna go, well, what about the ballistics? Bolts will go through the walls, mm -hmm. they'll go through the drywall. And the reality is on any of the weapons here, whether it's 12 gauge slugs or buckshot, 
five, five, six, nine mil or 300 blackout, you're going to have rounds going through walls. Mm -hmm. It is inevitable and it's going to happen, which is why I want to make sure our backdrop is somewhat clean, which in this house shooting from top to bottom, that's pretty safe. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure we have a high standard of accuracy so that we don't send a bunch of rounds down range that we obviously uh, shouldn't be sending down range. So what I have right here is a Benelli M4. This is a very nice 12 gauge shotgun. Mm -hmm. Um, not necessarily what a lot of people will have for home defense. They'd probably have something like a pump action shotgun. But what I want to demonstrate right here is just the recoil um, of a weapon like this. It is much harder to control than the guns that you just shot. I'll shoot it to kind of show what someone who has, you know, some experience shooting guns, what they could do with a shotgun, but it's still pretty difficult okay. to shoot. Hello. Yeah, it's a little bit. So yeah. which do you prefer, shooting the shotgun or one of the ARs? AR, 100%. Yeah, I There's agree. There's a reason why that's my favorite <laughs> gun that I own. <laughs> it hurts a lot less. So while we're talking about protecting your home and your family, we should also talk about protecting the most important home, your body. Living a healthy lifestyle can be challenging when you are always on the go. You need simple, manageable routines to make sure you are getting the proper nutrition every single day, which is why I'm a huge fan of Balance of Nature. Balance of Nature fruits and veggies are a great way to make sure that you are getting essential nutritional ingredients every single day. Through Balance of Nature's advanced cold vacuum process, the vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients of the fruits and vegetables are preserved so that you can get that vital nutrition in each capsule. Balance of Nature is a whole food supplement and guys I love them because they have no additives no fillers no extracts no synthetics no pesticides or added sugar which is so rare to get in a supplement the only thing in their capsules is pure fruits and veggies they have been sponsoring daily wire for a while now we love them we have them scattered around the office because we are always on the move we are very busy there are often days where we don't get to eat lunch or you know finish dinner because of how busy we are that is when I rely most on balance of nature to make sure I am getting all of that nutrition because when you're disciplined enough to take care of your health you reap all kinds of benefits so make fruits and vegetables a part of your daily diet and your body, your home, will thank you. So go to balanceofnature.com and use promo code COOPER for 35% off your first order as a preferred customer. Again, that is balanceofnature.com, promo code COOPER for 35% off your first preferred order. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. All right, moving upstairs, we'll kind of talk about some choke points in your house mm -hmm. and places, uh, just things about your house that you should know. Okay. You know obviously, this isn't your house. Mm -hmm. um, we're training here, but mm -hmm. if this was your house, it would be expected that you would know some things about it. Yep. Um, you're there every day. Uh, we'll talk about that stuff. So we'll head on upstairs okay. and get some uh, some looks of that. All right, moving up to like a spot like this, if this was your house, yeah. top of the stairs, um, gives you a tactical advantage if someone were to yeah. get into your house. So we're past trying to keep them out with security screens mm -hmm. and anti-smash glass coatings and all that good stuff. And now you, you think or believe someone might be in your home. It's important to put this out that I don't advocate that mm -hmm. you go hunting for a bad guy <laughs> in your house. Whether you're armed or not, it's important to try to utilize local law enforcement mm. to help you. With that being said, there are times when you need to protect yourself, and I advocate for folks to educate themselves and do that. So coming up to a place like this, if this was your house, mm -hmm. this would be considered a choke point. This is a spot someone has to pass to get to you. Yep. If you could come to here and you had kids in here, this would mm -hmm. be a good place to you know, have the kids burrow deep. Okay. You could kind of see who's coming and going because they have to come up here. Another thing you may have noticed or may not have noticed coming up here is this is your house, you live mm -hmm. here. Um, it's got a squeaky step. Yeah. You know, if you weren't here, maybe you were deeper in the house, that seventh step mm -hmm. squeaks and you step yep. on it. Something you should know if you live in your house. You know, mm -hmm. hey, the seventh step squeaks. You know, someone's at least that far up the stairs. Yep. So in this first position that mm -hmm. Ryan was showing you, we're sort of looking down towards the front door. If anyone were to come around from the back door, mm -hmm. it's fine. In order to come up, they just have to come up through here. We have this side of the wall right here that we're gonna try to use as best as we can as cover. Bullets are gonna go through most of this, but again, it could like hit a beam and then divert or something yeah. like that. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm a right-handed shooter, in this case, it would be, it would be a left-handed shooter will be have an easier time from here, but we're not gonna worry about switching shoulders. Okay. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna try to back up as much as I can into the room, because there's no reason to be choked all the way up in the door. It's not gonna let me see anything down into the Front door, I mm -hmm. can still see everything from here. I'm gonna make sure I can get a good sight picture of that entire area. And then what I wanna try to do is blade my body as much as I can. So cool. if you wanna see what that looks like. All right, so if I'm here. 
So if you'll start to lean out, you'll see. Basically, you only oh, have there to, it is. Yeah, you only have to lean out as far as that other wall down there. Yep. Because there's no reason to jump up out into here because it's not going to let you see. Yeah. Because the else. moment somebody steps in, they're going to be right there. Yep. And that, and then you're just going to sit here and wait for 911. Yeah. It's as simple as that. So assuming this is the master bedroom in the mm -hmm. second position, um, this is very convenient for a lot of reasons. If for some reason someone was at the front door banging yep. and upset or protesters or something. Um, all you would have to do is basically place yourself in the doorway in such a way. Again, mm -hmm. I'm not jumping out more than I need to because there's yep. no reason for that. I just have to be out enough to see what I need to see. And in this case, as a right-handed shooter, it is very easy for me to get a sight picture of the door if I do have to actually actively aim at the door. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't until I thought I, was, I needed to and I would just keep the gun at the ready. Again, watching the door, seeing if anything happens or someone starts to break mm -hmm. in. Nice. So All go right. ahead and stand here and see kind of what it looks like to get a sight picture. So it's like here? Yep, if you had to. And again, it's trying to make sure that we're not exposing more of our body than we need to. Yep. But we're keeping full line of sight on the door and we can see everything going on. All right, last step. Yep, uh, we'll talk about the back, uh, back door to your house. Um, some houses are gonna have a, a door like this, mm -hmm. which is um, not optimal. Uh, it looks cool because it lets light in and mm -hmm. see out, but you know, glass back door is gonna is gonna probably pose some issues. Mm -hmm. So some some considerations. Again, like we talked about on the front, you can yep. put you know storm doors, metal screens, some sort of a barrier back here that's mm -hmm. gonna make it more difficult for someone to get in. They do have those anti-smash coatings. Again, they're gonna buy you time. They're not perfect, but mm -hmm. it's better than nothing. Lighting considerations. Mm -hmm. If you're in your house, lights are on, you're watching television, sitting on the couch, and it's dark in your backyard, you don't have any of those like motion activated mm -hmm. lights you could have an issue of people being able to see you and you can't see them. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, Oh, that's it's, so creepy, I hate it. Yeah. It's, it's an effective method yeah. of, of being able to, you know, at least give yourself a heads up. Motion activated lights come on, see they're gonna be an animal or an animal. Mm -hmm. So it gives you that chance. Yep, so, and again. this is how your house is broken into, right? It was. Glass door? I had a large glass mm -hmm. slider in the back, um, unprotected. Mm -hmm small rock mm -hmm. and it uh, kind of changed the trajectory of my thought pattern on how to protect my house. <laughs> I bet. Immediately after that, I went and bought a fancy metal gate for my backyard. So. All right, that is it. I hope you guys learned a lot about how to set up your home, how to fortify your home. Thank you so much, Lucas. Thank you, Ryan, for coming out here. I learned a lot. I hope you guys learned a lot. Thanks for having us. Yeah.